Hi everyone, tonight I'll be making roasted garlic potatoes. What all goes into the roasted garlic potatoes? Three pounds of baby red potatoes, washed and quartered. This is only one and a half pounds, so I have two packages. One fourth cup olive oil. Six large cloves of garlic minced. I'm just going to use the already minced. Salt and fresh cracked pepper. One tablespoon Italian seasoning. I have my homemade Italian seasoning. I'll leave the recipe down below. Three fourths cup grated Parmesan. One half cup unsalted butter. That's one stick. Fresh chopped parsley for garnish. One half cup crispy bacon bits, optional. So let's begin. Take a large pot, fill it with enough water to cover the potatoes and get it to boiling. Preheat the oven to 400. Take a large baking sheet and spray it with nonstick cooking spray. So the water is boiling, we'll add our potatoes to the pot. Be careful, the water is hot. And we will parboil these for five to eight minutes. They won't be totally done, but they will be partly done so it won't take so long in the oven. So take a large bowl, combine the one fourth cup of olive oil, and you may need more than that if the Parmesan cheese absorbs it too much. The six cloves of garlic mince, I, I put in a little bit more than that. Probably equivalent of about seven. Salt, and this is to taste. The Italian seasoning, which is one tablespoon. The pepper, and again, this is to taste. And the Parmesan cheese which is three-fourths cup. And mix that to combine. And like I said, if the Parmesan cheese absorbs the olive oil, you may want to add more. And as you can see, it did absorb it. So let me go get some more olive oil. And I'm gonna add a little bit at a time. You don't want it to have too much. So I just added another fourth of a cup of olive oil. And you want it thin enough because you're gonna put the potatoes in there to coat them. Adding a little bit more. All right, I think that's gonna be pretty good. We can always add more olive oil if we have to. So take your garlic sauce and then dump your potatoes in the sauce and toss that until completely coated. So take your potatoes and put them cut side down in a single layer. And they're still a little bit warm, so be careful not to burn yourself. And I'll finish that and I'll be right back. So put your roasted garlic potatoes in a preheated 400 degree oven for 25 minutes. Turning over after 15. So I just took them out of the oven after 15 minutes, turn them over. We'll put them back in the 400 degree preheated oven for the remaining 10 minutes. As you can see, some of them are browning we want them to become more brown on all of them. We'll, we'll cook them for another 10 minutes. Meanwhile, we'll take the butter, melt it in the microwave. So the butter is melted. We will put the parsley in with the butter and mix that up. We'll wait until the potatoes are done and then we'll drizzle this all over the potatoes. So the potatoes came out after 25 minutes, flipping them at the 15 minute mark. Take your melted butter and parsley and drizzle it all over the potatoes. They look really good. 
Uh, but unfortunately, you're going to get me for the taste test because Dave got shut down because of the wind. And he is, last I checked, was still alongside the road. So then take your crispy bacon bits, and this is optional, and sprinkle that on top. So here are the roasted garlic potatoes. And rounding out the meal is slow cooker beef brisket. Let's go see what I think. Okay, so I'm going to be giving the roasted garlic potatoes a try. They look really crispy and probably hot. They are crispy. They've got a really good flavor. I'm glad I added the extra garlic because it's not really too much too garlicky. I like the skins nice and crispy, as you can see. Nice and crispy on the, on the outside. The skin is really crispy too. Hmm. Dave doesn't know what he's missing. Since I missed out on this meal yesterday because the wind was blowing, which it's blowing again today, I got 60 mile an hour plus winds today. I thought I would do a taste test on the road. I forgot to ask Sherry. I know that's brisket and I know those are potatoes, but I don't know which one was supposed to be in the taste test. So I'm gonna do a little of both. And this is how I get my meals every day. I don't know if that's in the frame or not. Well, there you go. This way I don't have dishes to take care of except my silverware. I do have a microwave in here. The brisket is very good. Now for a potato. Mm-hmm. Those are good. I'm gonna turn my camera off and enjoy my meal. Recipe deals for easy meals. Please like, subscribe, and share. This is Cooking with Sherry. Until we meet again.